Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of 20 minutes till dawn road to 100%. Today we are going to continue where we left off and we are going to play as Hina and we are going to play with the bad gun. Not that we are going to um not uh, to use it very much but uh, I have in mind some build and hopefully I will manage to to win um, an achievement um, and that's not taking any damage and using the Inas well Shadow Clone which is a very big trap if uh, um, you use it and in order to dodge because most likely the, you don't have basically what's happening is you don't have invi invisibility frames while using it so oh I can fire it constantly almost um, Let's see which kind of build I want to make. Hmm, quick hands. Let's see. Fire reload rate, reload rate, kill clip. Hmm. Max ammo. Frost mage, I can do it. Haste, which will be very good, run and gun. Uh, I will go with haste for now and try to got, get to run and gun basically. So, yeah, I, I have to see how I can make the attack, attack speed of the clone uh, do a lot of damage. So, holy shield, what can we do? Uh, I mean, I guess this is good for what I'm trying to do, actually. So, I'm going to take it. Um, because, yeah, I'm trying to not take any hits or damage. I'm not sure the achievement, uh, what's the achievement, let's say, going to be. But I do have to be careful of those evil, evil trees. So, seems that my clone starts attacking a bit faster. I'm wondering if I can uh, spam it in order to basically attack only with it. I don't know how it works. It like. Um, I made some research and uh, with uh, the clone should be the easiest to, to do. Also being at only one health, red health actually. Uh, so yeah, uh, power shot, bullet damage, bullet size, piercing, holy arts, uh, smite, divine lightning, I mean, it's for stalwart shield, I guess it's okay. To have it a bit well. Also, I see it seems that I haven't changed my runes, which can be a bit problematic because the rune that uh, I have might uh, actually push enemy to me. And that's not why, what I want. Um, I guess I kind of need glare only for uh, for a bit of survivability because this weapon is not the greatest. I, I don't know this weapon too much. Uh, I know that it gains uh, both for summon damage and for uh, bullet damage it gains bonuses but uh, I don't really have anything like that 
Also, maybe this character is not the best with the vision because uh, it doesn't gain the huge vision increase that uh, the first one uh, does. So, double damage, they aim below 20%. That's, uh, that's nice. Uh, Dragon Egg, I mean, it can be good. Uh, if I can get the Age Dragon and Train Dragon. But I will go for this one and hope for the best. Dealing double damage and yeah, basically every two seconds killing everyone which is in my vision. Um, so yeah, I have to be careful not to be too greedy uh, and yeah, it should go fine. What I want, what I really want, what I don't seem to be able to get, it's um, let's see, my fire rate, um, your own hit effects, yeah, I, I wanted to get the one that uh, lets me um, basically lets me uh, do more. Uh, damage with my summon so and more attack speed with my summons and so on because that would also help my shadow clone because the idea will be at some point to just seed uh, and just see them spam uh, shadow clone um, it seems that now I can get it I will go for trainer then uh, damage and hmm, yeah I will do it and hopefully it will work out like I want I don't try to do like a summon build necessarily I just want to be able to make my clone do the work for me and hopefully not take damage of course at some point I will have to dodge because yeah we will have like the boss uh, that I cannot just deal with it without uh, dodging. Um, but yeah, should be okay. So, Vitality, Regen, Run and Gun, it's what I want. Um, actually, which allows me to go and shoot at the same speed. No speed lost, basically which is very useful for my mobility especially when the weapon is not very good like this bad gun does i mean should do like decent damage but yeah i don't know uh, i will have to see um magic spear hmm for every max hp you have but i don't have <laughs> max HP I will take then the summoning fence basically it will be like a summon build I will try to go as much as I can for the summon build and I met barely managed to avoid taking damage there which yeah, it's an achievement in, in itself <laughs> uh, Okay, I will take the dodge, no problem. Hmm. Summon damage, pulsing summons. Hmm. Healing item. I will take dodge, it might save me. Of course, it might not. Uh, that... I will take it. Basically, this might... Uh, yeah make it so that I can just camp here and let her do all the job for me hopefully uh, but now the enemy comes the big boss and I will have to yeah I might have oh I lost the where did I lost my hmm I don't know wh when did I lost my uh, holy shield. 
I was sure that I haven't lost it, but uh, yeah, it seems that one achievement is out of the door. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> well, watch and learn. Hmm. I mean, why not? The ghost friend is pretty useful. So yeah. The fact that I can freeze the boss is very very nice. But uh, hopefully I will manage to kill it before uh, hmm, before he manages to land another hit on me or the box gets to yeah, or he walks into me and I'm just going to die very quickly, probably. Um, so, let's see. Hmm, the damage from glare also applies the on hit effect of your bullets. Well, that's like really nice, and I managed to avoid dying. But uh, yeah, I don't know how much I can keep doing it. I will leave my shadow flow to, yeah, die. Okay, it didn't work as well as I thought it would. Um, I guess I have to try another gun. Uh, it seems like this gun didn't ha uh, haven't been. Also, the runes. I don't think uh, this was the correct choice. I I didn't manage to. Um, I haven't managed to to do it, um, but I do believe that was the right choice. Um, hmm. So basically, if uh, with a very small shock, a uh, very small, uh, uh, like. Um, small clip ammo this would be very good because you do 100% of your damage every time you reload to nearby enemies uh, this one it's a trap basically it's a really big trap because they sometimes um, go into you so yeah so if you gain XP you gain move speed I don't think I want it um, the blessing it's really interesting um, this is every thousand enemy um, yeah hmm. so I, I'm trying to see in which should I invest but for now I just keep it like that I will choose Hina uh, flame cannon it's interesting the green grenade launcher now this can be very interesting. I will try another one and uh, yeah, I will just play on darkness one, forest, the easiest one, <laughs> and try again to see. Oh. Hmm. So interesting. If I'm not mistaken, if uh, I'm not being careful the grenade launcher can actually hurt me too so hopefully I'm uh, I will learn to be careful and uh, not let it hurt me but uh, he can do pretty good AOE damage which is nice like it's very very nice uh, I will go for dodge I need my dodge so yeah of course it's not very reliable the dodge um, it's not really very reliable but sometimes can save your skin um, and of course nimble and reflex I won't even look at the other others I will just go for maximum survivability. Uh, I will not go for max uh, HP because one of the achievements is to manage to win the game while only having one red heart. 
of course soul heart doesn't count if i re read the achievement correctly so yeah i'm trying to do that of course i might not be able to do it but anyway we'll see reflex that's very nice it's what i wanted and uh yeah also so soul reaper it's nice um but i will go for reflex for another dodge chance uh too bad that i cannot see my stats to see where i'm at with my dodge chance and so on and so forth i would really like to see that and hopefully i will also get the again the shadow uh, the shadow uh, thing. Let's see. So for one HP, justice, pyromage, quick hands, um, inflict burn, rapid fire. Hmm. That can be interesting. So yeah, not the ideal, but I don't really have rerolls. The first uh, character also has rerolls, which is nice, but uh, yeah, later stages things are going very very crazy and basically um, I don't think I can... The only idea to not take damage would be to the shadow clone of Hina to be what, what needs to be. Um, the dragon egg is nice, but I will go for uh, this one. Not that things will not die in one hit with this kind of weapon, but uh, I have to also be careful. Of course, the companion can be nice. And yeah, if the first uh, level up is a dragon, then I will take, but other than that, I'm not really keen on taking it. Um, sometimes it's really hard to build around it to be honest. Of course uh, my summons and things do 10% more damage because of my runes which is actually quite nice and uh, take aim um, that can be nice um, pyromage hmm. quick hands Reload, but Electromage. Um, hmm. I mean, I don't know if it's uh, the best, but I will try to also take a bit of damage in case that yeah, it will take a lot till I manage to get my summoning Shadow Clone build as high as that I want and hopefully not uh, die. Uh, of course, sometimes the hitboxes are very tricky and I got a hit in this game more than once by uh, not uh, understanding how the hitboxes of the enemies are working. Uh, so yeah, hopefully I can avoid doing that. Also, it's nice when enemies are clumping together and I can just kill them very quickly um, hmm. that's interesting hmm. I will take it for now this is the best that I can do because uh, yeah my let's say uh, summon damage is almost close to non-existent and also things die pretty much in one hit so I don't really need that much the doom it doesn't activate for the smaller enemy it makes no sense so yeah um, let's see this can be a trap with this weapon I feel um, you gain a soul heart. This can be good for a summoning build. Um, I mean, I will take the holy shield. I think uh, I will need it 
more than the Holy Spirit. Uh, the Holy is, uh, mm, it's not what I wanted to see, but yeah, whatever. It's not such a big deal. So anyway, let's see what we can do. Hopefully not taking damage, killing the first boss and yeah, making my build go. Also, it seems that I'm underestimating the rate of fire that this weapon has. I can go for double shots for a little less bullet damage, which I don't think it's bad. Uh, the sight... Hmm. It's interesting. And But I will go for double shot. Double the damage for a negligible amount of damage, which can be mitigated pretty easily with other upgrades, basically. Uh, of course, I would want it to have the shadow upgrade of Hina, which attacks uh, three times as fast. Uh, that would be really good, but unfortunately I didn't get it. I did get it last time, but uh, I didn't choose the right uh, gun and yeah, that wasn't very good. Uh, yeah, this can be good. A bit more damage, even though it's random damage, but can help me clear some paths when I need to move. Of course, my build may be utterly garbage because, yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm not that an expert. I just barely played a few things. Of course, it was nice when I had like the um, how can I say? Ooh, that was a really good dodge, basically. Yeah, I managed to kill it. Okay, move speed. That's nice. Summon damage and attack speed. That's interesting. Uh, for the dodge one, move speed, I think it's better. Um, of course, one, one issue that I have with her dodge is the fact that you have no invisibility frames. Basically... Okay, haste. Even more move speed. Basically what happens is the fact that yeah you can if you are used to dodging in other games usually you get some invisibility frames to dodge but now here with this character you don't get so if you dodge into an enemy you I mean you cannot dodge past an enemy if you dodge into an enemy's hitbox then tough luck you are out of luck so yeah it's not very nice i will take this one also hopefully with my insanely high dodge i can manage to stay alive and get to the skill tree that gives me soul heart for every time i kill one enemy hopefully i mean i don't know we'll see uh for now using my clone yeah and a good thing that dodge does is basically pushes the enemy away right now my shadow clone doesn't really do much basically does like a bit of damage but uh, i mean like a lot of damage <laughs> don't get me wrong but uh, yeah, not what i wanted from from it uh, doesn't attack as fast so I can just sit there and watch watch it obliterate hordes of enemies while I'm safely in, in the protection range that it offers so yeah also if I'm not mistaken the shadow clone basically does uh, the bullet damage so having a high uh, damage thing is very powerful uh, fanfire I will not take it it's, it will be like suicide <laughs> basically I will take lair for a bit of safety let's say safety margin so if the enemy are getting too close to me maybe I can 
make them die with my vision looking better than I don't know. I don't think I don't know if it will things will go my way this time or not or if I Oh I lost the shield again. Hopefully this doesn't count as a hit against me for the achievement. Um I mean bullet damage, yeah. Why not? So let's hope that we can manage to survive this thing. So yeah, like I said, um I, I have like really high dodge oh man that's that's what I need um, I really need to get my life in order yeah I did get uh, I did get hit yeah it seems that my I did ah, okay hmm. doesn't work as good as I want it to. Anyway, that will be it for today. Um, I will try to refine my strategy and go for this achievement next time. And till then, we see each other. And I hope you enjoy it. And yeah, have a good day. Bye bye.